you could automate your entire editing workflow in DaVinci Resolve with just a few clicks. Whether it's removing silences, adding captions, or even auto-zooming to your main edits to pop. AutoCut had just made editing a whole lot easier. In this video, I am going to show you how you can streamline your video editing process using the new AutoCut plugin for DaVinci Resolve. So what is AutoCut? AutoCut is a powerful plugin originally designed for Adobe Premiere Pro and now it can work seamlessly in DaVinci Resolve 2. It's like having an assistant editor that helps you to automatically remove awkward silences, add captions to your video and even auto zooming to your section for dynamic cuts. Let's take a quick look at how to set up AutoCut in DaVinci Resolve. Go to the first link in the description below and download AutoCut plugin. Double click on it to install it. Once you install, open DaVinci Resolve and go to workspace menu and then script. Here you'll see AutoCut. Click on it to open the plugin. Here you'll see four different sections, AutoCut Silence, AutoCut Podcast, AutoCut Captions and AutoCut Zoom. I have prepared a clip to test the function. Let's start with AutoCut Silence. If I show you the raw video, Hey guys, this is James and welcome to a new DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Today I'll show you how you can. Here you can see there are so many pauses in this video. If I want to delete those pauses manually, it will take forever. AutoCut Silence can help you with that. First make an in point and an out point, then click on AutoCut Silence. Now confirm in and out points. From this window, you have to adjust the noise level. Suppose if I stop talking, the ambient sound level will be below minus 35 dB. Depending on the recording environment, you can adjust the volume of the silent part. I'll keep the default value, which is minus 32 dB. The next section is important. From here, you can adjust the silent threshold. Suppose if there is any silence greater than 300 milliseconds, I want to remove those. And if the silence duration is less than 200 milliseconds, I want to keep it. So I can adjust the parameter from here. The next section is padding to avoid hard cut. You can experiment with the value. I'll keep it as it is. Now click on the generate preview to see the preview of what you are going to get. So once you're satisfied, you can click on cut and delete silences. It will do the job. So here you can see it's done. AutoCut has deleted the silent part of my video just like a magic spell. After cutting the clip, it will suggest you to use auto zoom feature. You can click on it or you can just close it if you don't want to use auto zoom feature. Let's play it and see how well it did the job. Hey guys, this is James and welcome to a new DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Today, I'll show you how you can automatically edit your video in DaVinci Resolve using a plugin named AutoCut. So without wasting any more time, let's get started, shall we? Now I want to make the video a little bit dynamic by adding zoom to the different clips. Again, make an in point and an out point. Click on auto zoom. Confirm in and out points. You can adjust the zoom amount and different parameters. I'll select piece preset and then I'll click on zoom and it will do the job for me. Now let's see the result. Hey guys, this is James and welcome to a new DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Today, I'll show you how you can automatically edit your video in DaVinci Resolve using a plugin named AutoCut. So without wasting any more time, let's get started, shall we? It's already looking great. Let's spice it up by adding animated caption. Click on auto caption, confirm in and out points. Don't worry, they will remind you every single time about the in points and out points. Now select your video language. I'll select English. Click on go to captions editor. It will take some time to generate the caption depending on the video duration. Now you can select any preset that you like. I'll select Mr. Beast one. If you want, you can click on the edit style to change the font and text color. Also, you can save the changes as a preset for the future users. For now, I'll click on apply style. Click on position and size if you want to change the position and scale of your captions. I'll keep the default value. Next from the edit transcription section, you can review the transcription and correct it if there are any typos or mistakes. Once you review it, you can click on save. Now the final moment. Click add caption and it will do the job flawlessly. As my video duration is very short, so it take few seconds. 
let's review the final result hey guys this is james and welcome to a new davinci result tutorial today i'll show you how you can automatically edit your video in davinci result using a plugin named autocut so without wasting any more time let's get started shall we now the final one which is auto podcast if you edit podcast on a regular basis then you might know how painful it is to trim and review one hour long podcast every single day but using auto podcast you can automatically edit multi camera podcast within a few clicks let me show you how you can do that using auto podcast place different camera clips on your timeline and then sync it trim out any excess part make in and out points now select the clips on your timeline and then click on auto podcast it will open a new window click on select active timeline from the speaker section level out the track within the speaker names for me the first track is james and the second track is shuhak you can add more tracks and name it accordingly now tag the camera track for the speakers here the track 1 represent my camera angle and the track 2 represent shuhak's camera angle so i'm tagging those accordingly if you have a camera angle where both persons are visible then you can tag it by clicking on add a camera icon and then selecting their names from the camera time duration you can select the speed changing between different cameras i'll select the first preset now you can disable the unused part of your video clips or you can just remove those for a clean look i will select remove it once everything is configured properly you can click on edit and delete unused clip go and have a coffee and take a short break and let autocad do its task here it's done you can see it has done a great job it has perfectly so cut the camera angle when the speaker is talking i bet you it will save a lot of time if you are a video podcast editor so that is how you can use autocad plugin to edit your videos you can trim your videos using this plugin you can add captions you can add zooming to your clips and if you're editing video podcast you can do multi cam podcast editing using autocad plugin in the bench result you can download it for free and you can enjoy 14 days of free trial if you like it you can purchase their subscription you can use a single subscription for adobe premiere pro and the wins result in the same computer be sure to check the first link in the description below to know more about it that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one you can give me a thumbs up if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro the wins result or video editing in general you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then Goodbye.